Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. Turns out the real Miram was the friends he made along the way. Yeah, true. <laughs> Damn. The artifact hate is so real right now. <laughs> and you always attack me. I don't um, always attack. Cool. You good? I will pass. Your turn. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks, the I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone, it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck, and we're here with another episode with a bunch of amazing patrons. We brought Ray back hey. to redeem himself. He's had some, he had some struggling episodes, but we're, we're excited to see that the struggle end today. As always, if you are a patron, you get a chance to possibly be on the show, so check out our patron, and we also play on the Discord. And as always, I just love playing Paper Magic with my friends. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Ray. Uh, I'm a patron with the show. I'm excited to be back on and hopefully redeem myself from the last episode. I'm excited to be playing Paper Magic with my friends. Yeah, Not no more hot and, we'll, and we'll make sure, too, if you do dig a hot shot, we'll make sure the hot shots are even. Yeah, exactly. Hot yeah, no discriminatory hot shots. No discriminatory hot shots. We want to give Ray a fair chance. Hi guys, I'm John. I'm a patron. I'm back, bringing Terror back from Kentucky again. I tore it up last time. I dominated. I destroyed. I hope to continue that here today. Hey guys, David, back again. I did want to do a little disclaimer. Uh, my father is not dead currently at the time of recording. <laughs> currently, hopefully not for a very, very long time, like in his 80s or 90s or 100s. Just, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, all of those are jokes. Hope to have a good episode. We love you, Barry. You're happily alive and healthy. We love you, Barry. You have our purse. Hopefully he's still alive when I get back. Purse. <laughs> so, roll zero pregame conversation. Let's talk about the strength of our decks and the power levels. I'll go first. I would like to play Miram. It's powerful. Sentinel Worm. I have, you know, some of the free, not all the free counter spells, because I don't have Fierce Guardianship in here, but I do have Pact. It was I in a pre-con. How come you don't have it? It's actually not that expensive. Just, Just buy the pre-con. Pre yeah, I didn't put it in here. I should have. Do have some fast mana rock, like there's a mana crypt, but there's not a mox diamond. Not all the fast mana. I do have a lot of counter spells in it. A lot of one drop counter spells that are, you could say are CDH staples. So there are some like CDH staple cards, like Flush of Storm or Mental Mist Up. This deck also has a secret commander. If you look at the Hobbit with the dragons, dragons are always hoarding over treasures. The sub theme of this deck, besides just copying and making dragons, getting a lot of treasure. And then the secret commander in here is Magda. So hopefully if I get Magda out there, and I have a lot of treasures, I can then go tutor for dragons by sacrificing the treasures. So far the deck has done well when I've played it. Either I come out hard or I run out of gas fast. Miriam is a flying dragon spirit, 6-6, six, six, has ward two. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except the token isn't legendary if the dragon is legendary. Dragon leaves nuts across your face. Oh, there you go. So today I'm gonna play Kibo Uktabi Prince. Uh, it's two and a colorless and a green for a monkey noble. He's a two two and his ability says you tap him and each player creates a colorless artifact token named Banana. With tap, sacrifice his artifact add green or red, you gain two life. Whenever an artifact an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control that's an ape or a monkey. And then whenever he attacks, defending player sacrifices an artifact. So the game plan is to get a bunch of monkey friends out there, get a bunch of bananas out there, and then hopefully do some cool things with them. I played him with him a few times. It's the new one from the new Jumpstart. I'm gonna make a lot of monkeys and I'm gonna like gonna get kind of bananas. And so that's kind of the game plan. 
B A N A N A S. That's the name of the deck. It's B A N A S. Whenever it attacks. Okay. I was like, whenever he attacks. Yeah, that'd be trouble. All right, what is the Southern Love from Kentucky bringing? I'm playing Tasha the Witch Queen. Whenever she's out, it says, whenever you cast a spell that you do not own, create a 3 3 black demon creature token. Her plus one ability is draw a card. For each opponent, exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard and put a page counter on it. Her negative three, you may cast a spell from among the cards in exile with page counters on them without paying their mana cost. And then she comes out with four loyalty to start. So you can do either, which is nice. So as far as power level, the real question is the power levels of your own decks, because I'm gonna be playing all of your cards against you. There's no proxies. So if, if it pops up, it's real, but we'll see. It's, it's, it's a surprise, it's in there. So the main thing is I just cast your spells, I get a bunch of demons to protect her, and there's nothing you can do about it, and I laugh and everybody's miserable. And it's great, and all my friends hate it. Today I'm playing Bruner Battlehammer again. I'm not gonna do the voice, I'm sorry. I've played him before, but what he says, he says each creature I control gets plus two plus O oh for each equipment attached to it, and then I may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of the first equip ability you activate each turn. He's a five, three, four, four in Boros colors. The deck, I've changed it a lot. Now we put some money into it, we've got a plateau, we've got all the swords. I put a couple extra combat cards, I put Warrior's Oath in there so I could take an extra turn and kill everybody. Right now, it went from like a four to maybe like a seven. I Should feel like good. most decks are usually like eights. <laughs> everyone says seven. Everyone's, everyone's seven. Everyone says seven, but I feel like, but so you took your $100 budget deck of just the junk jank in there and you put the good stuff in there. Yeah, all the swords, so all the- You're back with vengeance. Yeah. The Sword of Vengeance. I hate your death. Now enjoy the show. Yeah, everyone that's rolled, who goes first? Four. Six. Three. My man. Kentucky's going first. I hate let's Kentucky. Draw, <laughs> let's draw our seven. We always do. Take us away, brother. All right, I will draw. Too good to be true, I just drew it. Command tower. And I'll pass. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. On tap, I'll keep. I'll I was like, draw. That's a pretty good tap deck. Forest, and then I will tap the forest, and I'll play a soul ring. He's the threat. Pass the turn. You're always a threat. <laughs> All right, it's because you're blue like your stash. I know. All right, draw for turn. This is the old me of change, I swear. <laughs> Play Verdant Catacombs. I will sack it, tap it, lose a life. I'm gonna go get, I think, a tropical island. Give me a cut, David. It's just a black lotus, nothing crazy. Fudge, like that's deck. crazy. Yeah. That's a legal cut. You, you can are... look that up. So I do have a turn one play. Yep. Tap the tropical island for a blue. Cast Mystic Grimora. Oh, the fish is Ooh, out. It's the cool art. Don't yeah. feed the fish. Stupid fish. I will pass to David. I'll draw fish a card. Fish food, not friends. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna play some wholesome magic. I'm gonna play Windscarred Crag and gain a life. Ooh. And I'll pass. Kill him, he gained life. I wow. know. This guy cheats. All right, I'll he draw. can tap for anything. Yeah. You're gaining life. That's how the table's trouble. As if you don't have a Remora out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish yeah, I had it trouble. before you did that. Uh, true. All right, I'm gonna play an island, the most powerful card in Magic. I'm gonna play two, and awesome. I'm gonna play Talisman of Dominance. You can't pay for Mystic Remora. That's correct, please. Draw. I will draw, trigger. Remember this kindness that I've shown you just. <laughs> and I'll pass after that. Okay, I'll untap, I'll keep, I'll draw. Ooh, spell oh, cards. I'm not cheating, I swear. I like the sleeves though. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna play Crack Crown Pathway. I'll play it as the red side. Yeah, one red, and I'll play Raggy. Ragavan, the Nimble Pilferer. Not for the dash. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, exile the top card of that player's library. Until end of turn, I can cast that card. And then I will play one green, two colorless, and I'll play Kibo. It says, tap, each player creates a colorless artifact token named Banana. With tap, sack this artifact, add a green or red, and you gain two life. Whenever an artifact an opponent controls is put into a garret from the battlefield, I put a plus and plus encounter on each creature I control. That's an ape or a monkey. And then whenever Kibo attacks, defending player sacrifices an artifact. And then I will pass the turn after that. Untap. Upkeep. Mystic. Oh, right. You already uh, drew one. That was really yeah. good. I feel like I need to pay it. Oh, greedy, greedy. greedy. Draw. <laughs> Your greed will be your down. That's right. I'll play a scalding turn. I'll tap it, crack it, sack it, live a life. Put a volcanic island into play. Put it in your pocket. How you gonna hate when you're broke, man? Stop it. David, shut up. How dare you <laughs> tell us that? Cut me. You and your little cuts. <laughs> <laughs> David, king troll savior. It could, it could be helping you. You don't know. Pass. And tap. That's terrifying. Up, keep. Draw. Let's play an Arid Mesa. Tap it, crack it, sack it. 
And then I'm gonna go get platy with the fatty. I'm gonna pass after that. Everyone's gonna be like, how does this 16 year old kid have a black toe? Yeah, exactly. What do you do? I robbed a man. <laughs> <laughs> I robbed a man in Reno yeah. just to watch mm -hmm. him cry. Exactly. <laughs> Over his plateau that he stole. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's what Johnny Cash wrote about was his plateau that got yeah, stolen. Yeah, it was all about a plateau. <laughs> yeah. Pass after that. Okay. I'll untap and I'll draw. I'm gonna play Swamp. I'm gonna play four for Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker enters the battlefield, exile another target creature or artifact until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were a mana of any type to cast that spell. There's only two targets. Yep, I'm gonna steal. Well, he could just exile him, right? If I target him. Commands if you yes. don't, he could still attack with it and destroy your artifact. Cases you let him get treasures if you right. let him keep this, but if he has this, He's destroying he, your talisman. He can destroy man. your talisman. Okay, so we only get nanas if he chooses to give us nanas. Correct. Yes. He has to okay. tap it, not attack with it. Gotcha. Yeah. But so, is it better to exile his commander so it goes back to the command zone? And it costs more. I think so. I think so. Okay. But he could just play it next turn. So I'm going to target the commander. That's crazy. I'll choose something in the command zone instead. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? I could just cast him instead. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. That's it for me after that, so go ahead. All right. I'll untap saltily. Oh, go to upkeep. <laughs> How am I so afraid of monkeys? <laughs> I'm going to play Cinder Glade. It comes in tap because I don't control two more basic lands. Tough. Tough scenes. I'm going to play two. I'll tap this. And I'll play Yavimaya Steel Crusher. It's a 2-2 Ape Warrior. It has Enlist, which means as a creature attacks, I can tap a non-attacking creature you control without summoning sickness. And if I do, add its power to this creature's until end of turn. And then also has Pay 1, Sack it, and Destroy Target Artifact. I'm going to... Float two, I'm gonna yeah. sack it, I'm gonna blow up your talisman for exiling my guy. Damn. The artifact hate is so real right now. <laughs> is that your whole deck? Is it all artifact hate? Yeah, fuck bananas. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I go to combat and I'll swing at David for two. He knows you're always a threat. Yeah, true. And you always attack me. I don't um, always attack you. Do you feel attacked? Can I see the top card of your library? No. Because I, I moved from phases, so the mana wouldn't be there. It stays exile. Stay exile. It stays exile. Yep. So I have one treasure. And then Pass. you can decide whether you pay it, whether you feed the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna let the fish die. Yeah. Yeah. One card. <laughs> Unta Man. That's one <laughs> with dead cumulative. Fish. I'm gonna play a reflecting pool. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna cast Talisman of Creativity for two. One floating. I'm gonna tap a mana vault. Whoa. Ooh. Did I say tap a mana vault? I meant play a mana vault. Either way, it's rude. I think I know where you should put your so artifact destruction. My talisman of creativity, True. obviously I can tap it for colorless or I can tap it for blue or red. If it does do a damage to me, my mana vault does not untap during my tap step. I gotta pay four. At the beginning of my draw step, if it's tapped, it does one damage to me. Unfortunately, that's all she wrote. Jeez, he's tap ramping it. though. That's all folks. All right, we'll draw. Play a Plains, and let's tap for three mana to play Helm of Cauldra. So for three mana, I get a legendary equipment artifact that says equipped creature has first strike, trample, and haste, and then it has an ability. Sorry to say, I don't have the other two, I just have this one. I'll read it, but I can't use it. I can pay one, and if I control an equipment named Helm of Cauldra, Sword of Cauldra, and Shield of Cauldra, I can put a 4-4 colorless avatar legend creature token named Cauldra into play and attach those equipments to it. And then it has equip two. Are you passing? I pass. I don't think you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Remember three months ago? I'm still bitter. Uh, Urborg, Tomb of Yoggmoth. We all have swamps. You're such a giving soul. I know. What a guy. That's that what southern comfort. Each yeah, land is a swamp. This to the taps. Do they have swamps in Kentucky? I, I reckon. <laughs> Pass. Wow. Are tagging? you sure? Yeah. Untap, scared. Good, please be. Draw. I'll play a mountain for turn. You're gonna be shaking in my cowboy boot. <laughs> but cowboy, cowboy there's boot. a snake in my boot. <laughs> you, okay, hear me out, All right? I love every time he says, hear me out. Hear I always know something's gonna happen, right? He's always like, hear me <laughs> out. Hold that. I'm only gonna cast Bootlegger's Dash into Caddy <laughs> Manufacturer, and don't be worried. It's balanced, fair magic. I'm gonna play five. I'm gonna play Monkey Cage. It says, when a creature comes into play, sacrifice Monkey Cage and put into play a number of 2 2 green ape creature tokens equal to that creature's converted mana cost. So it's any creature that comes in. Oh, any creature? Yeah, so the first one that pops in, like, for oh. example, like a Miriam with all the ramp. Oh, oh. which I'm gonna have to do. Yo. So it's resolving. Yep. Resolve. Sadly. Hits. I'm gonna go to combat. Okay. I'm gonna swing at David again. And you get another treasure. And I get another treasure. And exile the top card and let me see. <laughs> so ring. <laughs> nice! 
I will play that sword. Thank Just you. remember to give it back. I'm yeah, like, you, are, you, should do. you already <laughs> took his agent too. <laughs> Did you bring it back? I brought it back. Combat's over. I'm moving to main phase two. And I have some extra mana. Tap the soul ring, tap the glade, and I'm gonna play cultivate. I'm gonna switch my lever for up to two basic land cards, oh, reveal those cards, put that. one to the battlefield tap, and the other into your hand, then shuffle. <laughs> and then after I look for the lands, I will pass the turn. You got, you got, Force you on battlefield the tapped, door. this into my hand. I will untap. Mana Vault doesn't do damage to me because it's untapped and then I draw for turn. So I'll play an Exotic Orchard for turn. I'm gonna tap the Mana Vault for three colorless and these for one of each color to cast Miram. She is a flyer, War 2. Whenever another non-token dragon enters battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except the token isn't legendary if the dragon is. Pass priority? Yeah, I pass priority. Pass priority? <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna sack Monkey Cage and I'll make six 2-2 two, two green ape creature tokens because that's Miriam's CMC. Or mana value, sorry. I'm gonna pay one red and I'm gonna cast Sticky Fingers. It is an enchantment. Common. Enchant creature. Enchant creature has menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. When enchant creature dies, draw a card. So I will enchant my worm dragon spirit. But it doesn't have haste. Unfortunately, pass the turn. Does Miriam have fingers? No, she got claws, but I'm giving her sticky fingers. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> she got sticky fingers from all the green she's smoking. That's right. Pass. Draw. Planes for the turn. I'll tap four. For Bruner Battle Hammer. Bruner Battle Hammer. Um, each creature I control gets plus two plus oh for each equipment attached to it, and then I may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of the first equip ability I activate each turn. For my first equip ability, I will pay zero to equip Helm of Cauldra. Bruner is a seven three first strike trample haste. I'm gonna attack. You don't swing at me, these monkeys are not <laughs> coming at you. I could also swing at him, and you then could he would swing be forced to block. Yeah, and he won't have a Miriam and a Mana Vault, and a whew, There's a things. chance I'm also in blue. So there's a chance I could also... Just for that threat, I'm gonna attack you. No, wait, hold yes! on, whoa! Yeah, this sounds good. I don't have the mana to recast. King the Conqueror shows up, and then we're Response? having a civil war here? Come on. Oh. Iron Man and Captain America are fighting each other? Come on, like... <laughs> Leave King Kong alone. <laughs> I'll attack you, Michael, for you? seven. I'll take seven, David. Oh. I'll pass the turn after that. All right, I'll draw. I'm gonna play an Island. I'm going to attempt to cast my commander. Pass priority. Any response? No, no responses. Perfect. Whenever you cast a spell you don't own, create a 3-3 black demon creature token. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use her plus one, which says draw a card. For each opponent, exile one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard and put a page counter on it. So that'll bring her up to five. What instant sorceries do you have in your graveyard, sir? I just have a cultivate. I will take your cultivate. Uh, do you have any instance or sorcery, sir? I do not. I just have go my Mystic Grimora and land. Okay. Do you have any instance or sorceries in your No, room? I have Perfect. Any. I will just take that cultivate. That is fine. I'm, I'm not a greedy god. Pass turn. Yes, go ahead. I will untap both my soul rings. Upkeep. I love it. Draw. I'll play a mountain for turn. It's a lot of mountains. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff over here. I'll tap forest for green, synergate for green, the other forest for green. One, two, three. And Damn. I'll, Six total. And I will play, definitely not King Kong, Kogla the Titanate. <laughs> wow. Legally distinct King Kong. It's a seven six legendary ape. It says, when he enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature I don't control. Whenever he attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. And I can play a color a green and return target human I control to its owner's hand. And that would give him indestructible until the end of turn. Ape when he comes in, control. I'll have him fight Bruner. Okay, he's a seven three, he dies. I hope it was worth it. It felt good. No. And then I'm gonna go to combat. I'll swing Ragavan your way, the six apes your way. Well, I'm gonna block and kill one. Okay, so you'll take 10, because there's five two twos oh, left. 21. Exiled Brass Knuckles. I so will make my treasure. Strike. Yeah, uh, I don't want it, I'm good. So it just goes exiled. I'm good on the Brass Knuckles. Pass turn to you. Untap, take a life in the Mana Vault, draw for turn, play a land. Okay. All right, I will hit you for six. I'll take the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the combat damage, I create a treasure token. Nice. I'm gonna tap four. This will be colorless. And I'm gonna cast Mask Wood Nexus. Creatures you control, every creature type. Same is true for creature spells that you control and creature cards that you own that aren't in the battlefield. I can pay three, tap it, create a two, two blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. So you have monkeys too? I have monkeys too. Nice. Monkey gang? Yeah. <laughs> Apes together strong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's play a sundown pass. 
I could be really, really aggressive. Do it. But it would kill me, literally. The thing about the lulls. It would be it really fucking funny if I just lay into you would, Raymond you would and go then down lose Discord, the game. You would go down in the Discord history for sure. I think oh, I should do it. the Discord history. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to no play who a little No matter who wins the game, safer. they're only going to remember that you did that. You're right. <gasps> David. <laughs> and he didn't say that you're going to die for it. He's going to I'm going to do it because it's fucking yes! funny. Yes! I'm going to play Borrowed Time on Ragavan. Just on Raggy? Yeah, oh, so here's what Borrowed Time says. Ruh, ruh. Ruh, ruh. When it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Borrowed Time leaves the battlefield. I'm gonna choose Ragavan just for now because I'm gonna tap two red and I'm gonna play Warrior's Oath. Warrior's Oath says take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn's end step, I lose the game. So, but how are you gonna win? All right, David. I've got, game plan. I've got one chance to make it right. I'm not gonna win, but I'm gonna pass to myself. Okay, I have a, on your first end step, I have a response. Oh, okay, sure. I'm gonna pay one green. I'm gonna play Noxious Revival. Put target card from a graveyard on top of his owner's library. I'm gonna put Arid Mesa on top of your library. Oh, it's like, choose Warriors up. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Noxious you. Dang. Are you done? I'm done, go ahead. Pass to myself, draw a Arid Mesa. I'll play it. Sacred Foundry, and you know what? I'll pay the two. Hell yeah. <laughs> Live with life on the edge. I wonder what else is in his hand that he wanted to take the extra I'm turn nervous. so bad. I, that's why, I, at least I was like, at least he doesn't get to draw something cool. He's I'm not giving him that. Do you wave killing somebody right now? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is the funniest <laughs> part. I'm gonna play Aster, Bear of Blades. What Aster, Bear of Blades says is when he enters the battlefield, I look at the top seven cards of my library and I re reveal an equipment or vehicle card from among them and into my hand. Put the rest of the bottom of the library in any order. Equipments I control have equipped one and vehicles I control have crew one. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the top seven and get a vehicle probably, I don't know. I'll go ahead and not reveal anything and I'll shuffle them and put them on the bottom. Is it because you didn't get any? No, it's because I didn't want any okay. of them. I was like, there's no shot you didn't get a single No, one. no, there's, I got like four, but okay. I just didn't okay. want any of them. Pay so one. confused by his turn right yeah. now. Shoot or shoot. Ooh. You said I'll attack close. Ray. Okay. For four. That's it? Yeah. Damn. I'll take the four. I lose the game. <laughs> There's nothing else? No. You said I a thought lot. you had something you where you said could, a like, lot of damage. I thought you said you could kill somebody. Yeah, you I didn't, didn't say that. that. You said you were going to deal a lot so of damage. So then this leaves the battlefield and this Ragavan comes back? Yeah. Ruh Ro Raggy? I'm so confused right I now. I tap. This game is bananas. And I drop. Yeah. I am so confused. I have confused. to make one banana token. Alrighty then. <laughs> For four damage. <laughs> it was it. Uh, yeah, it was I really it. thought you had a way of like no. killing somebody. <laughs> Dude, just the tr king troll. You're like just trolling. Just because it's funny. You're trolling right. us during the game. I'm gonna play Fable Passage. Yep. I thought he had a master plan. I thought for sure I was dead. I was I was seeing I stars. You were dead too. Yeah, dude, I was counting my days. I was like, wow, Ray's gonna die again. Early. Yeah, true. Yeah, again. Yeah. Third game in a row with right you. Now. I'm gonna cast Snap. I'm gonna tap two. Return target creature to its owner's hand. I'm gonna tire my own. Hostage taker. Makes sense. And then I get to untap two lands, and I will untap the two islands. I'm going to pay two blue, and I'm going to attempt to cast Piracy. This turn, I may tap your opponent's lands to help pay for your spells. I have a response. Okay. I'm gonna tap my two mountains and float two red. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna float one blue and one green. That was a waste of two mana. I know. <laughs> that was the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Kind of oh, I get my soul ring back. Right now. I go down to two and I get the cast to cultivate without paying expense cost. So then I get one goes into the battlefield, tap one to my hand. Yep. So I have a 3 3 demon because of the I cast the cultivate, which is a card I did not own. Yeah, no demon tokens for your nice demon no, deck. That's what I'm saying. All your other foils. Know, Where's know, the. So I'm going to pay four. I'm going to play Hostage Taker, targeting Ragavan. He's the villain here. So he's exiled, right? Yes, and I can cast him okay. as long as he remains exiled. And that's it. Go ahead. Untap. I love that demon. Thank Upkeep, you. draw. One, two, three, four, five. I'll finally play Kibo again. He's back. Back again. Well, he's back. Look Tell who's back. Friend. Look who's back. Hey, one green, and I will play Hidden Gibbons. It is an enchantment. It says whenever one of your opponents successfully casts an instant or interrupt spell, if Hidden Gibbons is an enchantment, it becomes a 4 4 creature that counts as an ape. Is it forever or is it just until the end of turn? No, it's forever. So as soon as you do it, it flips right. into a 4 4. Anyone casts an instant or interrupt spell, he'll get the monkey. Cool. You good? 
Uh, uh, so no. I'm gonna go to. <laughs> I have a response. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat. So I'm gonna swing the five apes your way. Me again? Yeah, I can't get in there. I guess I take 10. <laughs> Checks. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Untap, trigger, mana vault. Do I want to pay for it? I got to hope that I draw a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't draw a dragon. So how good was the dragon? <laughs> I'm questioning all my life choices right now. <laughs> Can't be worse than David's life choices. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mine were pretty bad. <laughs> I'll play uh, City of Brass for turn. I mean, if you have any creature, it... Yeah, I wish I had a creature. <laughs> you don't have one? Really wish I had a creature right now. Yeah, I pass. I will draw. You'll play an island. I'm gonna play black, blue, blue, black. And I'm gonna play a Dalkin Orrery. Any response? I will pay one and I will cast Ragavan. What? Mm. And then I get a demon when I do that, so I'm gonna have two. I will then plus one Tasha and I will draw a card. And for every person, I get an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. I don't have any. Give me the Noxious Revival, please. I will just pass, because I'm going to need blockers. Well, you're the scary monkey man, so. I'm tap. You're spooking us. I'll keep, draw. I will play a forest for turn. I'm not going to swing at you, so just remember that next time you have some crazy <laughs> shit going on. You know what I mean? Be like, wow. Okay. Well, I haven't swung at you the entire game, so remember <laughs> that. <laughs> OK, I will swing at you. Mm -hmm. With everything. On attack, sacrifice an artifact. Which artifacts do you have? The Dalkin Order. The Dalkin Order. And the other problem is if he were to just kill me, he is gonna have to deal with the threat that is happening uh -huh. over there. Yeah, I need help. Hey, you have a 40, you're at you're at 30 life. I know. Hell. And he's just making demons and gonna keep everything in my hand has flash. I'm just gonna let that be destroyed. When it blows up, all the apes get a plus one plus encounter from Kibo. So they're all three threes now. Can I borrow the Schmarker? He's a three three. Now blockers. Okay, so is it all monkeys get it or just monkeys you control? Monkeys apes on oh, my control, not yours. Sorry. I'm just double checking. I know. I would love to share the monkey. I was love. being hopeful. You're right. These two are going to double block your commander. Okay. And then I'm going to block two of your five monkey men. Okay. And I'll take the remainder, which is what nine. Nine. Two of these trade, those two die, right? Yep. They're three threes. Okay, so I'll lose two apes. You lose the two demons. Yep. I'm gonna blow up Ragavan, or I'll block Ragavan and do the other damage to Hodge Taker. So Hodge Taker survives. Yeah, Hodge Taker survives, Raggy dies. There you go. He goes your good. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna tap the Masquid Nexus to create a 2 2 shapeshifter changeling. It's every type, but because it's a token, it does not trigger my girl. Yeah, that'll be it. All right. So I'll untap. I'm gonna tap four to untap the mana vault, and then I'll draw for turn. Help me. All right, I'm gonna tap the mana vault for three. Hands up. I'm gonna tap these two for red. I'm gonna cast Terror of the Peaks. Yeah! Son of a beach. Trigger, I get a copy of Terror of the Peaks. Okay. Trigger, I get to do five damage. True, he'll be at 26. No, you should do it to him, <laughs> because he's done all the damage to you, and I've done yeah. nothing to you. But I'm gonna just keep swinging at this guy. And you are no threat to me, so why would I ever attack you? I'm scared of your apes. I'm just gonna, instead of blowing your face, I could hit you in the face. Yeah, exactly, see that's fine. I'm gonna Blow shoot one of your apes. Okay. I have two, three, three apes. There's no other triggers that happen. Yeah, you Still did the thing. Two. I did, I did, you know. You did the thing. <laughs> you played a dragon. Yay! 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 I did what the deck does. I played a dragon and I made a copy. I got two Tear of the Peaks. That's right. Life finds a way. It turns out the real Miram was the friends he made along the way. Yeah, true. <laughs> I need a swing true. and I now have blockers. You have no enemy here. True, none here. Yeah, none Mon in the lands of Mordor. Monkeys are friends. No, monkey attack all game. <laughs> monkey did attack all game. Yeah, and look, monkey, we saved life. Monkey, monkey, monkey apologizes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to hit you for six. Monkey yeah, says sorry. It's too little, too late, <laughs> one, monkey two, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, three, three, come four, join five, the low yeah, life total. Yeah. We're all happy here. Monkeys are sorry. Because I attack, though, I will create another treasure token. So now I have two mm. treasure tokens. I'm at eight freaking life, man. For the record, I used this for the colorless, which is why I didn't get hurt. I'll pass the turn. On tap. And I'll draw. Play clear water pathway on the water side. I'm gonna plus one to draw a card. Okay. Are there any instants and sorceries in y'all's folks Ziz's graveyard? Who has the cultivate? Cultivate, still cultivate. I have no Thank instant. You. I haven't casted any Stop yet. stealing my Well, Flinch would just play the game. <laughs> 
I might just have to steal one of the Terror of the Peaks. Anyway, how much money do you got up? Three. Three. I can still do things that stop you. Okay, but if I take the Terror of the Peaks, can we just be bros? And then when I can attack, we can do our deal. Oh, baby. I'm still giving you something you can defend with. Spells your bonus cast at target Terror of the Peaks costs an additional three life to cast. Then, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. I mean, <laughs> Seems nice. do what you're gonna do. All right, let's see then. I right, gotta pay two. Guild Drake. Yeah. Oh, is it only sense. two? When there's battlefield, I get to exchange control of it with another creature and opponent controls. But in response, so I can at least get some triggers. Yeah, you're, you're, you get to hurt. In response to you casting, right. I'll tap the City of Brass, lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> sack, sack two treasures, tap the Masquid Nexus, which will create another shapeshifter, Snive two. Tear the peaks, we'll see these enter the battlefield. I will then build a sand for damage. I'll just do two damage to each life. One, okay. two damage to you, two damage to him to keep it fair. I like that. And then I'll then you stealing, and then I'm getting. Yes. Enjoy that that boyo. And then you'd lose three life for right. targeting tear yep. the peaks. Yep. Okay. Correct. I will pass. Your turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Hey, good luck on your next turn, by the way. Draw. <laughs> you know what? Tell us at home who's the threat. Comment below. Yeah. Who is the threat right now in this game? David. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Move to combat. Okay, you're in combat. I'm gonna swing both apes at Tasha. Okay, I'm gonna block both. So one each. Monkey monkey. Okay. Okay. Then before damage, Mism skin on this one. He gets plus one plus oh, so he won't die when he blocks the monkey. And then oh, this is point. gonna flip because you cast it an yeah. instant. Yeah. This will become a four four. Okay. So then one does it sacrifice? Only one monkey. Nope, die, it right? just turns into a four four. Yeah. One yeah, monkey. Both one, monkeys will one. die. No, no, because this only deals two damage. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So only yeah. one. I will just die. didn't want her to die. That's why I played it. Got it. Move to second main. I'll play one. I want to play blasphemous axe. Bruh. <laughs> Lynch. <laughs> I can stop the blasphemous axe. So you got to swing on him on your next turn. Lynch. Done. Foot on foot. I don't even have to think. <laughs> Force of negation. Oh, what are you telling? I'm going to pay it because I don't get it. Oh, oh <laughs> you're paying the hard cast. <laughs> I think it's the first time in the history oh. of my life that I've seen someone hard cast. I don't cast. I don't have a double, or uh, <laughs> blessed egg. So that resolves, I assume. Yeah. Sweet. Gets exiled. No, that yeah, gets exiled. Okay. I'll pay five and I'll play doubling season. That's an enchantment that says, if in effect, you put one or more tokens on the battlefield under your control, it puts twice that many of those tokens on the battlefield instead, and same thing with counters. If I were to put counters on something I control, it puts twice that many counters on that permanent instead. On that terrifying note I pass. On oh, that terrifying note. Untap. I've got to pray that I get a dragon, and I'm gonna lose a life to the Man of Vault draw for turn. Is it good or bad? Is it good or bad? Oh, nice. I did not get. I did not get a dragon. Come on. So, so sad. Don't swing. No, he's contractually obliged. I'm contractually <laughs> obligated to. You don't, you you don't got it. By law. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tap three. Tap Markwood Nexus. Add another shapeshifter. I can throw two damage. I'll do two damage to your life total. Me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You've been like, if you're gonna swing at him, you might as well poke him. Like, no, yeah. I don't think. Swing at you yeah. for eight in the air, flying. Okay. Eight in the air, flying. Mm -hmm. so. You're still double my life total. Yeah, but like, I'm at 12. It's not <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's double yeah, my true. life total. I true. can use that. True, but do you know who's more than double my life total? Who's that guy. And I pass. Four blockers, Yo. one in the air. Untap. All right, I'm going to minus three Tasha, and I'm going to cast Cultivate. So this goes back to your graveyard, and I'll get a, a Damon. I'm going to get two Swamps, one on the battlefield tapped. One's gonna go into my hand. I have not played a land yet, though, so I will play that other Swamp. There is a chance that John goes undefeated on the show. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I, mean, I thought you were gonna fix it this episode, <laughs> to be honest, David. I thought you were gonna kill me. I David was gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, so does that trigger the Terror of the Peaks or no? Yeah, it does. Yep. You, have three, you have three damage to throw. Okay, I'm going to throw at this monkey. <laughs> you ever heard that there's a tool song right in two? Monkey killing, monkey killing, monkey, monkey. I'll swing five in the air at you, my friend. And See, now we're close in life. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm scared. It is your turn, sir. Believe in the heart of the cards. Untap. David really messed with things by going out early. Yeah. Upkeep. Draw. 
I'll play a mountain for turn. Aren't I just a silly boy? Do you have no cards in hand? <laughs> yeah, it's been tough. That's so what are you doing? One. Crying. Chill out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for a monkey. All right. In response, <gasps> I'm gonna tap two blue. He walks no, right into it. I'm, shot. I'm just kidding. Oh god. That's <laughs> like really but it's his turn. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. It's not. It's a red permanent, right? No, no it's a green. It, it's a red it color a, identity, uh, but not a red sucks. permanent. Oh, oh well. Psych. Okay. I mean, I'll just let it fizzle. So, uh, no, no, no. I want him to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one. You want to take a shot? Let, let, I, I think you want you to take a shot. We'll take a shot. You Let's know what? This is justice for last here, episode. I didn't have a target. Yeah. Didn't have a legal target. Yep. The monkey, I still say, should be red. <laughs> it's a red color identity, but it's yep. not a red permanent. Yep. Watch out. Yep. Two, three, three, three. I'm not tagging. I know. It's my turn. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah you tried to tag for shit. I'm man. Oh, man. Is it my turn? Uh, Worst part is it sobered me up. I'll swing at Tasha for four. Okay. So after I declare blockers, I can respond, right? Y'all. Yep. I'm going to declare hostage taking my blocker. Okay. I'm going to flash in for three. Minions return. It's an enchantment with flash enchant creature. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. What are you planning on stealing when it comes back into the battlefield? I was actually just going to exile the Ubtaki so he would have to cast it again, but. But Miriam's over there. In but Terror of the Peaks is in there. Terror of the Peaks but is But me and Lynch are friends. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll Do you respond? Uh, no, I don't have a response. Pass priority. I'll pass priority. Okay. Worth a shot. Exile the monkey. I'll let it go to the command then. Okay. And then I block that damage from that monkey. This is back. This is gone. Well, you would block, then it would die, then it would come back, and then you would do that. Right, right. The monkey's gone. And then I'll pass and cry. I'm going to untap. <laughs> oh, and then when it enters the battlefield, do I get a, I get a trigger from my guy, right? It's yes. Died, and it re-enters yes. the battlefield? Yes, you do. Two damage to throw. I guess just to be fair, I will kill my Drake. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, never mind. I'll you could kill one of my changelings. I'll kill one of the changelings. Okay. Untap, upkeep. I'm going to tap four. This will be colorless. And I'm going to untap my mana bolt. Now I'll draw for turn. All right, I'll go to combat. I'm going to swing Miriam at Ray. And I'll keep the rest as blockers. I could kill him, but I'm choosing not to. I need, I need you around right now. Thanks. We'll see. I'll let, I'll let John kill you. Thanks. <laughs> so right. now I will get a treasure token. Okay. I will go ahead and pass a turn. When you're in step, I'm gonna pay three. I know this isn't the optimal time to play it, but I'm just trying to get a trigger here. Opposition agent, flash. You control your opponents while they're searching their libraries. While an opponent's searching their library, they exile each card they find. I may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and I may spend mana as they remain in the cast. I think what I have to do in response to that before it ETBs is pay three and I'm going to beast within your Terror of the Peaks. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to Blue Elemental Blast your Terror of the Peaks. You have to pay through life. And I'm going to pay through life. Both of you have to pay through life. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to crack a treasure so I don't lose a life. Chain of Vapor, my own Terror of the Peaks, putting Terror of the Peaks back into my hand. Chain of Vapor, return target non-land permanent to its owner's control, then that Permanent controller may sacrifice a land. If that player does, he or she may copy the spell and choose new targets for the copy. I'm going to target my Terror of the Peaks. While that's on the stack, I'm going to pay three, tap Mask with Nexus to create another shapeshifter. Then I will do two damage to your face. This will start resolving. I will return Terror of the Peaks. So I think I'm gonna let this resolve and then go to my graveyard. The Terror's in my hand. So yours is dead. Yep. You get a 3-3 beast, Yep. which I think I actually have a 3-3 beast token. All right, untap, draw. Plus one Tasha to draw a card. Any instants and sorceries in your graveyards, boys. In response, because I don't want him to have the beast within, but he would have to wait till next turn to do it? Yeah, I can't, and I, would, and I have to have three loyalty, so it would take two turns. All right. Donkey Shane. Then I will, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to attempt to cast Mark of the Oni targeting Mira. You gotta pay an additional two. And I'll do that. What does that say? You control enchanted creature. At the end of your turn, you control no demons. Sacrifice Mark of the Oni. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, my man. <laughs> I guess that's what the worst case scenario is. But All right, yeah, that happens. Back. That resolves. Woo. Okay, perfect. I mean, but it's menace. tapped. It's Does it untap it? No. No, but he controls it. He said he was going to steal our stuff. <laughs> I know, I told you. He admitted it. Yeah, he told came me. after me anyway. I yeah, I told, told you straight to He's a liar. He called you me a liar. You should have went after him. I did. I did. I said we're teaming. I'm going to swing three at you, my friend. 
Do you have no blockers? No. You're dead. Gist of G's. It's your turn, Mr. Lynch. Tap these four. This for color list. Untap the mana vault. Draw for turn. Tap the mana vault. Tap two red sources. Cast Tear of the Peaks. No triggers happen because nothing triggers it. I only have two mana available, so I can't even. I, I have that. to pass the turn. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to plus one Tasha. Do you have an instant or a sorcery in your graveyard? The uh, Chain of Vapor. I will take that, thank you. Tap eight mana and cast Mind Leech Mass. It is a creature horror, six, six, trample. Whenever Mind Leech Mass deals combat damage, damage to a player, you may look at that player's hand. If you do, you may play a non-land card in it without paying that card's mana cost. So what's going on with your board over there? Who flies, who does what? Two flyers, three on the ground. And this has menace. Menace. So Lynch, I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack with Miro, six in the air, and I'm gonna attack with these two, six on the ground. So I have to chump block because I have to have two because it has menace. So your Gilded Drake and my Terror of the Peaks will block Miram. I have three on the ground. I'll go ahead and chump, chump. Yep. That dies still. Yep. Yep. So these still die. I go down to one. What's living here? So I definitely want the Terror to go. So yeah, I'm keeping your it. Gilded Drake. Yeah, you keep the Gilded Drake. So the Terror mm -hmm. goes in the graveyard. And does Miram die or does she live? She dies, right? She dies. Yep. And then I keep this. Ah, see. I'm just a fool, guys. Right. Do I get to draw the card when it dies? Enchanted creature di when a enchanted creature dies, draw a card. I think so. it's you. I control yeah, it. Yeah, it's you. You stole this. I control but you, it, but he owns it. No, but yeah. you don't. He, he controls the enchantment. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. So then I draw a card. Lame. I'm gonna play one. Soul Guide Lantern. I can, just grab out, I can exile target card from a graveyard. That it? Passing? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm just gonna sack your, I'll just exile your entire graveyard so you don't have to. In response, I'm gonna pay one for green, Noxious Revival, put Tear of the Peaks on top of my library. I'm going to Fierce Guardianship. <sighs> yep, that happens. Untapping, I'm not going to pay it. I'll lose one life to the Mana Vault. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to pay eight, one damage. <laughs> Sheesh. And I will recast my Worm Dragon okay, Spirit, right. Miram. She only died one time? Yeah, she got stolen. True. But she still only died once. <laughs> she just got taken. And then I have to keep all my blockers, but I still think you have how many creatures? One, two, three, four. I'm and still six, dead. And the 6-6 has trample. I'm still dead. Yeah, swing out, buddy. You got it. Untap. Play my land. I'll swing I all I should have killed myself with my talisman. At least I'm still going to declare blockers. Yep. I'll go ahead and have her block your 6-6. Six, six. I'll have this 3-3 three, three block your demon. And then I'll have a 2-2 two, two block, I guess that, and then I take two life. And you're undefeated so far. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good job, good buddy. Good, 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 good. Awesome game, awesome good game. Good game, good game, awesome good game. Awesome good game. game. Hand over your shot glass. Good game, good game. Good That's good. right, the shot for winning. All right. Oh, back, 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 chug, chug, up. chug, chug. Oh, heck yeah. Mama didn't raise no. How is it being on the show again? Amazing, I love the show, I love playing, I love seeing all the crazy decks. I mean, it's harder to get any higher power level than this, right? It's hey, just a blast. Great one on the show. Congratulations on getting the win. You, you definitely earned it. You politicked well. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> David, for the LOLs, I don't know what they're gonna say to you in the comments. Be nice to David in the comments. No, or so don't, proud. I don't care. <laughs> Ray, how do you like being back on the show, man? I'm glad I lasted a little bit longer this time. It felt good. Yeah, I appreciate it, it was fun. Heck yeah. I don't have to take any shots, any hush hush hush. I, I love having patrons in the show. It was great having both of you on the show and, and offering the spice that you have. Yeah. This was a very fun, creative deck to see. It definitely put the fear in all of us with the, the artifact. <laughs> Especially the what the hand I kept. I guess I forgot. I should have like read your card again before we play. Reading it explains it. What yeah, because that would have helped me with my mulliganing. We'll have to bring you guys back again for, yeah. for another episode. Yeah, thank you. That'd and we'll awesome. have to just keep slinging spicy spells. And for you guys at home, you want to be on the show? Join our Patreon. We have a Patreon exclusive Discord where we like to slang a bunch of spells. And in addition to that, you get an opportunity to possibly end up on the show yourself. So we'll see. No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now. And it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play 
magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. Hey, it's time for the Patreon shout outs. I'd like to thank Todd Blackford, Jimmy Hubby, and Jeremy Margaret. Thanks guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Los Angeles is the sunny home of we the wizards of the West Coast. And the guests we fuck with on this epic show. I hate your deck. Guitar solo. is toe to toe from Cash's Marsh to fucking Post Malone. The best commanders and the lowest blows. I, I hate, hate your death. We're on a roll. <laughs> black, black, wow. So attack, play your cards and say go. Be you white, blue, black, red, green, or gold. It's a counter spell? What's the deal, bro? I, I hate, hate your death. Now enjoy the show. your deck join the i hate your deck patreon exclusive discord to get the various benefits and be able to play commander daily with people from around the world in our global community